Welcome to Post Flight by Trading Wings, a series of short videos designed to educate you on the types of plays we teach in the all new multilingual First Flight Trading Room. The first trading room of its kind, teaching you to the penny how to enter and exit trades so you can earn your trading wings today. For more information, visit us at tradingwings.com. Hey guys, welcome to Post Flight. Uh, today we're going to talk about the symbol AXP, which we're currently in right now. And we are shooting for our first target right here um, at about 70. And so um, I'll go over this play here, uh, what we were looking at. And we were looking first thing this morning. Boy, we had to be patient with this one. We were looking on the two-minute chart. We noticed that AXP had a lot of strength here. And we actually didn't play it early this morning. We didn't get in until over here. And what we did is we bought it at 40, and we said, let's give it 30 as a stop, sizing it for about 10 cents. And <coughs> you can see our entry bar came here just after 10 o'clock. And uh, we said, well, this should at least be able to get back to the high of the, of the prior day, which if we look down here, which is about 50, 70. And so we're pretty much hitting that target right now and we're looking to take off about half. Um, now the primary reason that we traded this symbol today was because of the daily chart. If we look down here on the the bottom right uh, you can see that the the daily chart uh, had found some support had found a nice moving average and we were looking to uh, start believing that that was going to turn around and that we were going to play long. And yeah, so I'm just getting out of some of the shares here as we uh, as we hit the target. The idea is that we're going to end up getting out of half of the shares and um, and, and go from there. So I got filled on some more. And we have 500 left at, at 66 to get down to half. And there I got I guess I got the last last five hundred there. Alright, so our first target was hit and, and like I said, we're just using this over here, just this prior high. Now for fun, what we're doing is saying, look, our average price is way down here, about forty forty two. What we're saying is we're gonna keep half of this position to try to make it all the way up here close to fifty one. Now we don't know if that's gonna happen or not. But one of the things that we teach in the first flight room all the time is proper money management. Right? I may not be any better than anybody else out there at picking winning plays, but once we get into them, I feel like I can manage them just as good as anybody else. Right? So one of the things that we talk about is holding on to some part of your position to get to a bigger target. You never know which one's going to take off and hit that big target. And so you want to be able to try to get it as, as far as possible. And when we take our plays, we always talk about what that big final target would be. And I happen to think today that it's somewhere around 51. Uh, so, you know, we'll, we'll wait and see what happens. Um, see if we get there. Now, realistically, will AXP make it all the way to 51 without pulling back first? I doubt it. So if you're playing this with me, and some of the, the traders in the room were playing along today, and we talked about, hey, we're going to hit our target, but chances are we're not going to hit that big target without pulling back first. So let's be ready for that. Don't be nervous when your P&L starts going down. It's only temporary. At the very worst case, if we are absolutely wrong on this one and it does not rally anymore today, we're going to break even on the last portion of this position and lock in just over one time, what w one risk amount is what we call it. So we're, already, we're in a good position. We cannot lose on this play anymore. Why not try to hold for a bigger move? Now, from, from our entry, you know, this we had to be extremely patient with and, and admittedly I was pretty frustrated uh, this morning to see both the market kinda do this and to see my stock do this but if you compare this symbol to what the market did 
you'll be able to see the relative strength on this stock. And so we just kept saying, well, it's not happening as fast as we would like, but we know we have a good stock. We don't have anything to be worried about. It's just a matter of time. And um, some patience paid off for us so far. And um, I'm going to I'm just going to pause the video and we'll just see what happens, whether it comes all the way back down and we break even or whether it rallies up to 51 or in the in the high 80s up to 51. Um, we'll see what we get. Again, the goal here for this trade is up at the 200. So obviously this is live. I, I have no idea what's going to happen, but I'm in a position where I know this would make me happy to make it up here to the 200. But I would also be happy if it trails me out at break even because I'll still get to walk away with a little money and I know I can't lose. All right. So I'll be back in a little bit and we'll see what happens. All right. So some time has passed here and we sat through a pullback here on AXP. And we noticed it came back down around a 50 cent number. And we took an opportunity to, to add some more shares back. And now if you notice, our average price is right under this low on the five minute chart. <clears throat> the low is actually 57. Our average price is 51 right now. So we had a chance to add back some of the shares that we took profits on earlier. And now, no matter what, uh, we're, we're still at break even a slightly better if AXP decides to turn around and come all the way back. So a pretty nice little ad there. We had a chance to, to pick up those shares. And now, like we said from earlier, we're shooting for $51 for the overall target. And we're still in a risk-free trade. No matter what, we cannot lose. So it's a good thing. We will uh, come back and check on this in a little bit. <clears throat> See if we can make it back up here to this 15-minute, which was just about $51. We said the high 80s. Uh, so I will just kind of pause it here and we'll see what happens. All right, so we're back. Uh, we hit the highs up here. We started noticing I, you know, a little bit of a pullback. Uh, so use that opportunity just to lock in a little bit more profit. I still think it's going to make it over the high and take it uh, up to that 15 minute 200, which is what we keep talking about in the room. Uh, right now, you know, it's a moving target, but I don't think it's going to move very much. You know, it's just, yeah, right about 50, 85 or so. So we got about another 10 cents to go with the shares that we have left, and um, we will see what happens. All right, we're starting to see a pop over the highs, and we're heading up into the 80s. Uh, I've got some orders up here. We'll see if they get filled while we're recording. We are getting closer and closer to the 15 minute 200, which is our ultimate target. And we always give the the option for traders to, um, you know, take it all at the target, peel out as you get to the target, <coughs> um, or try to push it to see if it even gets further than the target. Uh, so for right now, um, I'm looking to peel out. Just got some filled there at at 82. I've got a bigger order at 83. Oh, they went right through it. Perfect. So 85 is just the last last place there for some shares as we pop right into our target. So pretty nice trade. It took us forever. I mean, this is one that we had to be really patient on um, and <laughs> and wait a long time. Look back up here at the at the five minute or fifteen minute. You can see, you know, we we found our entry pretty early, and we've just been sitting here all day waiting for this target. Which, you know, to make uh, three, almost four times what you're risking, uh, it's worth it. You know, if you're if you're risking a hundred dollars, you made you know, three or four hundred dollars just on one trade. Um, actually, I guess I got three hundred left here. Uh, so it's it's pretty cool. You know, something. There we go. Something to um, something to take with you. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. I'm trying to keep them under 10 minutes, but uh, I figured I'd uh, show you a live trade again uh, that we took in the first flight room. If you want to come in the first flight room and trade along with us, just go to tradingwings.com. You can take a free two-week trial and uh, sit in and, and take the trades with me. All right, guys. See ya.